everybody, if you're new to my channel, I'm Lori. Welcome to Lori's Book Trials. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm in one of those moods. Um, today, we ventured out for the first time because ours is what was lifted yesterday. But we ventured out today, don't worry, I was safe. <laughs> we were all safe. We wore our masks, even though there's some people that don't wear masks still, even though I would, because I did. <laughs> But we went, because we had to get some sheets for the man, my mans, um, like, because he, you know, is a truck driver, so, the bed, so, that they have in the truck. So, anyways, so we also went to Ollie's, and I got some books, so I'm going to show you the books, but first I'm going to show you these markers. I haven't tried them out yet, but I got these, um, intensified Permanent markers at Walmart. Next, what it says about them? Look at all the pretty colors. It says low odor, non-slip grip, long-lasting, bold color, quick dry, dry and fade, and water resistance. That is so pretty, aren't they? I like those a lot. And as you guys could tell, I'm back in my book room. Let me see. I'm going to be going down here to grab them because I got them. I don't know what you call them yet. So, I found this one. This, um, Book of Lala is doing this this month for her, um, for her, um, book club that she does. I can't remember the name of it, but this is the book that she was doing. I wasn't going to read it because, um, uh, you know, I didn't have it and I wasn't going to pay, like, full price in case I didn't like it. But I found it at Ollie's. For $5.99. So I got that. I'm not sure what this is about. I think this is about this girl. She married. I mean she's in dating this guy. And he gets. He dies. And she. Um, her. The guy. Um, his mom wants her to come and help. Her, I mean come and unpack things. Because she ain't ready to do something like that. Or to pack up his things. And the girlfriend finds some information about him. I'm not exactly sure what the information is, but that's what that's about, basically. Fragments of the Lost by Megan Miranda. I love the color. You guys know green is my favorite color, so I love the greens on it. And then there's blue. So pretty. But yeah, I love the greens. So pretty. I know I just said it, but it's true. I have to say it again. I also got me, like, clothes and stuff, but I'm not going to show it. <laughs> Because I'm washing the clothes because, you know, we don't want to, we didn't want to put it on in case anybody you was touching it and, you know, it might be sick. So, we want to wash them first to be safe. But look, that's what she looks like. I'm so happy to be back in here, especially since I want to do some, um, I want to do my 120 hour readathon starting Thursday, I think I said, or did I say Wednesday? I think I said Thursday, right? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I believe I said. Okay, next book. I got... I don't know why, but all of a sudden I've been reading Stephanie Meyer's books. So I got The Chemist. Not really sure what this is about. I think her, um, she's got to investigate something. I'm not really sure. But it's over 500 pages. It says... um. Yeah, and it was only $3.99. On here it says $6.99, but, and then $5.97, but right here it says, our price, $3.99. It says, in a gripping, in this gripping page turner, an ex-agent on the run from her former employee must take one more case to clear her name and save her life. I'm not going to talk about it any more than that because I want to, don't know nothing about it really, so I want to kind of go in blindly. I think I had this on my ebook. I never read it. Sorry, don't worry. I've been washing my face, but I think I might be allergic to the mask because my skin right here is so messed up, and then right down here it's so messed up from the mask. And then I got two books with the X Files. It's the Origins, the X-File Origins, Agent of Ca Chaos. And this one has to do with Mulder. It says, before he was assigned to the X, 
profile before he was an FBI profile and be profiler and before he studied physiology at Oxford, Fox Mulder was a high school senior dealing with the loss of his sister in a broken family. But when another little girl goes missing, he might be the only one who could save her. Read the start thriller to find out why men's of people become obsessed. So, that one's about Mulder. I always loved Mulder. When he went off the show for a while, ugh, I didn't like it that much. And then we got Scully. Scully, how do Dana, I mean, how did Dana Scully become a step, 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 step you know, speck, oh, I can't say that word. When she doesn't believe, whatever you want to say, septic. Before she was signed to the X-Files, before she was FBI agent, and before she studied medicine, Dana Scully was a loner at high school. But when classmates start to die, she may be the only one who could stop it. Read this dark thriller. No, it says the same thing, basically. And this is by Jonathan Maberry. Maberry. Well, both of them should be by him, right? Oh, no, the other one's by Kim Kimmy Garcia. This one is by... By Jonathan Barry, like I was saying. Ooh, I didn't even notice this. Look at that. I don't know if the other one's like that because I forgot to open it. We'll go back to that one. Ooh, that's neat. Oh, cool. There's like a the X on here. Oh, look how white. <laughs> but ooh, I like that. I want to believe it says. It says secret. Great. And I want to believe. Yeah, it's like really, you guys, really dry and everything from that mask. My face. And I put just washed it real good and put lotion on it and it's still, ugh. It says, many of the things I've seen have challenged my faith and my belief in an ordin ordered universe. But this uncertainty, uncertainty, has only straightened my need to know, to understand, to apply reason to those things which seem to deny it. Dana Scully, The X-Files. Part 1 is called Angel and Demons. It says the angel is, I mean, the devil is an angel too. And the first page says, first beginning says, I want to believe, said Dana Scully. <laughs> and that's what the guy looks like. And let's go back to this one because I forgot to. I forgot I had to check and see if this one had anything special. I think I showed it to you guys, didn't I? Yeah. His one says, trust no one. And then it has, like, the Federal Bureau of Investigation Bureau. Yes. Like I said, this is by Kimmy Garcia. This one says... We work in the dark. We do what we can to battle evil that would otherwise destroy us. But if, but it's a man's character, I mean, but if a man's character is his fate, this fight is not a choice but a calling. Yet sometimes the weight of this burden causes us to falter, breaching the fragile fortress of our mind, allowing the monsters without to turn within. We are left alone, staring into the abyss, into the laughing face of madness. Fox Mulder, The X-Files. This one starts out, pack of teenagers pop for their official start of spring break. Rush back, I mean, past the black city, say, Sadine, Sadine, how is that word? Parked across from the high school, unaware that they were being watched from behind the car's tinted windows. Mm-hmm. Okay, I got a couple more. I can't remember if, who was talking about this. But someone was talking about that they're reading this this month. I don't know if it was Cody. For, I forget her channel's name, but I can't remember if it was Cody. If I can find her channel name and if it was her, I'll let you guys know. But somebody was talking about reading Mer The Mercies, and I found it. And I was like, ooh, that sounds kind of interesting. I love this cover. Like, wow. When I found it, I was like, yes. Of course, the red. Ooh, I didn't look in this. Look at that. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow. I think this is about witches or something. It says something about black magic.
It's really pretty. Look at the end pages. But that is gorgeous. That is pretty. But this is by Lori Eve. I don't have a picture of of her in here, so I can't show you what she looks like. Hmm. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Okay, it says everyone loved the graces. Fern, Fern or Fern? I think that's Finren. Finren, maybe Finren. Grace is larger than life, almost mythical. He's the school's pan, seducing girls without really meaning to. He's biding his time until someone special comes along, someone different, who will make him wonder how he got alone. I mean, along all this time without her. Someone like me. Fernand's twin, Talia, Thalia, yeah, Thalia, Talia, is a willery beauty with rippling honey colored hair. Wherever she goes, Thea leaves behind a band of followers who want to eliminate, uh, illuminate, immolate, 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 yeah, her. She casts spells over everyone she encounters, just like, encounters, just like Furin, Finrin, I mean, even if they both deny it. Then there's Summer. She's the youngest Grace and the only one who admits she's really a witch. Summer is dark on the outside with jet black hair and cola, 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 cola. Koala, I don't know, K-O-H-L, rimmed eyes. And on the inside, it was an edible, an edible, an edible that she, she'd she find me, the new girl, a loner with secrets lurking under the surface. I am River. I am not a Grace, but I'll do anything to become one. <laughs> that looks good. I don't know if I'll read this anytime soon. I might wait and save this for, like, around Halloween. I think this would be a good Halloween book. And one more. This one I've really never heard of. All the other ones I think I've, you know, at least have some idea, you know. But this one's called Friends and Other Liars by K.V. Coble. This one don't have the picture of the author either, but it says, A captivating story about, it, about the secret we keep from those who think they know us best. Friends and Other Liars is a turn chilling suspense and darkly humorous. It says to my old friends, so here you are. Nice to see you can show up for a person once he's dead. It says when Ro Ruby St. James returns to her hometown, it is to the grave of her old friend Danny, a member of the group that was ten, that was ten years ago Ruby's World. The crew made a pact back then. Stay together, stay loyal, and stay honest. But that was before all of the lies. Because even friends keep secrets. That They just don't stay secrets for long. Now Danny has left behind a letter for each of them. Issuing one final ultimatum. Share your darkest betrayal to the group or risk it coming out in a trap he has created. When past mistakes resurface, the lines of friendship blur and four old friends are left trying to understand what it means to lie to the ones you love. I mean, who the ones who love you best. <laughs> Definitely looks interesting. As well. And of course, green again. You know me, my greens. This one has... These are like, you know, like when they ask you like questions and all that. That ain't the part of the book. Here's the epilogue. Okay. This one has 352 pages and then it has like the reading group guide. If you want to like do it in, you know, if you want to like do a book club for it or something. You know, read it in like your, you know, like buddy read it maybe even, you know. And those are the six books I got today. And I don't know how much it costs. Probably like about 15. 15. Most of them are like two, three dollars. So the most expensive one was The Chemist by um, Stephanie Meyer. So yeah. But that is it. Um, yeah. 
let me know how everybody is doing. And yeah, I hope everybody's staying safe. And if you do go out like we were, please wear a mask. I know a lot of places, some places is required, but if it's not required, still wear it. Okay. It's common sense if you go out just to wear the mask. Even if you don't feel like you're going to get the virus, I don't mean you're not going to get it. So just make sure if you do go out that you wear that mask. I mean, I was wearing it and it was killing my face and my face is still itchy, but I'm going to, you know, if I go out, I want to make sure that I am doing it safely for I don't get anybody else affected. Like if I would get it or, you know, one thing, like if you go out and you, you know, you're taking that risk, but you don't want to bring it back to people. But just be careful if you go out there. I love you guys so much as a friend. I hope you guys like this video. And I will talk to you guys all later. Remember, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. And remember, if you do subscribe, hit that bell icon. For you'll know whenever another video like this is up for your viewing pleasure. I noticed I got a couple of new subscribers. So thank you very much, whoever you are. And you guys all have a good day. Mwah. Lori out. Happy readings.